I mean, one of the things that for me um, the game's so important and always has been really important is actually doing and seeing and and actually feeling, feeling, feeling and smelling, and hearing um, stuff to actually then understand it. How can you study nature in a classroom? You know, we, we have to expose ourselves to, to, we have to learn directly from the teacher itself, which is nature. You always read all these brochures and stuff that say, oh, it was the best experience and things, but this has genuinely been like the adventure of a lifetime. This kind of an experience for students, especially those that have just studied through the last few years of COVID, is like a completely immersive crash course in quite a few different types of ecology. So they're also able to sort of, I guess, put themselves into positions where they're learning directly about the survey methods. In a short space of time, they can tick a lot of boxes. That's really important when they're trying to apply for different jobs. Employers look favourably upon this uh, as an opportunity because it shows you've got a broad range of uh, research skills that you've been taught while you're out here. You're able to live in these environments if you're wishing to do field work again in the future. I learn 10 times more on Apple Expeditions than I ever have in the classroom. It's way different, like just reading something and then being tested on it and really not getting that hands-on experience to kind of put it into your mind for good. Um, I also think it's a really great way to figure out if this is what you actually want to do. Um, you get to try different um, surveys like herpetofauna, you know, mammals, birds, habitat, insects. There's so many other surveys to try. One of the things that I loved about my uh, first Apple expedition so much is that I came home a lot more confident than I was. I didn't really know like if it was what I wanted to do, if it was something that I was good at, um, and just going out there and getting hands-on experience and you know, getting feedback from staff members or getting to assist, um, or just work absolute wonders in my life. I wanted to be surrounded by like-minded people with, with lots of interests. Um, there's opportunities that come from that. Uh, and you find out about really interesting projects that you, you didn't know about. Also, being surrounded by passionate people um, interested in things that you were also interested in. Um, yeah, it gives you a bit of a, a kick and a, a spark. I've learned so much and it's definitely sort of I came into this a little bit aimless, I think. Sort of not quite knowing what direction I wanted to go in, what species, or if I wanted to do field, lab, or desk-based. And I think especially not only doing the practical side of it, but also speaking with other staff members, sort of their experiences. and. Um, I think that sort of really helps to, to give me a little bit more focus in what I want to do. And it's through this that I've sort of been able to solidify that thought.